Can I talk a little bit about this book? Yeah. And uh, the reason I'm, you know, um, because I made a very important discovery lately, and that's why I wrote this book called Kedamo Yuru, okay? Uh, and Kedamo Yuru, uh, every Kenyan community have myth of origins, okay? Every community, how they, who is their original father and mother, mm. you know. I'm not a, a Koyo people. And I must talk about tribe before I, uh, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah. among the Koyo uh, community or the Koyo people, we think of our origins as a man called the Koyo and a woman called Mombi. And they had nine daughters, actually ten, but they, for some reason they didn't count up to ten. They wanted to say ten, they said, Kedamo Yuru. Oh, you know, okay. there's Keda, yeah. pure, that's nine. Keda Moyuru is ten. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, Keda Moyuru, ten. Because they had ten daughters, you know. Uh, and these ten daughters were the founding matrix of the all the ten Gikoyo clans. Because every Gikoyo person, whatever he has, belongs to a clan. Okay? Those clans are named as these uh, ten women. Now, but if you hear the core stories of their, of their clans are not always very positive, you know, very, actually very negative, to be very frank, you know, I don't know, I mean, I, mean, I don't, I don't even repeat some of them here, <laughs> How, you know, uh, now, I realized one thing happened when I was thinking about this, mm -hmm. uh, oh, the myth says that when they came of age, their father went to the mountain top and asked God for nine handsome young men who turned up, you know, in the following morning they were there, you know. Huh? But of course later I realized the cool people don't say, I did this for myself. They always say, God mm -hmm. huh? did this for me. If you go through difficulties, you don't say it's your own pure strength which made you say, oh, mm -hmm. God did this for me or enabled me to do this and mm -hmm. the other, you know, yeah. yeah. So I rethought of that myth, eh? mm -hmm. triggered by one thing. If these ten ladies had no brothers, and there were no young men around because they had come from whatever, God had to bring them from <coughs> wherever. Yeah. Eh? It means then that these ten ladies knew everything. Huh? They had to make houses, huh? they had to make clothes, they had to make weapons, they knew how to defend themselves, they knew how to farm the land, you know. And I said, wait a minute, this is amazing. Yeah. And literally, this is how I did like that. What do you mean? This is amazing. And I was in Irvine recently, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because I said, my God. And they were, pla because they were planning things. They knew how to defend them, to make weapons, you know, because they didn't have to have brothers to rely upon. Eh? They did everything, and they planned, you know, mm -hmm. use their mind. And I said, oh my God, ah, the original feminists. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. women who can do everything, who can use their mind, mm -hmm. their hands, their thing, you know, mm -hmm. who, who are makers of things, inventors, you know, like this, we have been making these clothes, inventors, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So I said, our matriarchs were inventors. They were makers of their own history, of their own world, okay? And that's how I came to, re not rewrite, but revisit the myth of origins, you know, called Kedamo Yuru, and it will be translated into English and published under the title, uh, uh, the perfect nine, the perfect nine, yeah, yeah. So wow. these are women who are makers of their own history, who are makers, who are not afraid to make history, okay, right? So when we talk of women as, as you know, as sort of, we, uh, uh, that things can only be done for them by their whatever, it's not, our history tells us the opposite, okay? Mm -hmm. 
too much learning from our history. Mm -hmm. And hence this, once I came down with uh, the perfect nine, or perfect nine, as it will be called uh, yeah. in English translation, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I was expecting uh, all the ladies to clap for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I saw someone like, mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>